Hello everyone, this is Pakshita Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. Today we continue working with a blouse made of blend wool. Last time I showed you how to make a pattern for the back. And today I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for the front on its bases. I'm cutting the back pattern now. This is the first thing to do. I love this design. Such loose garments are very popular nowadays. When I finish cutting the back, I'll show you how to make a pattern for the front. This is how the back looks like now. I need to cut the princess seam. This is the center back. Have a close look at the pattern. You can make these parts even more loose if you want to. I'm not going to do it. This is the side back detail. I need to cut two such details. They are the same for the front. I'll write it down. So basically, I need to cut four of such details, two for the back and two for the front. I can move the pattern aside. Next I'm going to use this part of the pattern to make the front. I've already drawn a line on a new piece of the tracing paper. This is the center front. It should match the center back. Join the details this way and pin the pattern. First, I need to measure and mark 1.5 cm from the base of the neck and connect this point with the shoulder top to draw a shoulder slope. Do not forget about the balance extension. In this case, it's 1.5 cm. Next, I need to measure and mark 40 cm down from this point. This is where the underbar seam is going to be placed. You know what? I'll better outline the pattern first. I can move the back pattern aside now. This is the waistline. The only things left to be drawn are the collar and the underbust seam. As I've said, the side details are the same for the front and the back. It will be attached here. Next, I need to measure and mark 40 cm down from the shoulder top. This is where the underbust seam is going to be placed. You can draw it wherever you want. Natalie did not want it to be high. Let's have a look at the sketch once again. There will be a fold on the center front in the lower part. This is the detail I'm talking about. The upper detail will be two pieces. First, I need to draw a collar. I need to measure the back neckline. 10 cm. 
ну, грубо говоря, 10. One centimeter for the seam allowance. That makes 11 centimeters in total. That means that I need to raise the shoulder top for 11 centimeters. This angle should be straight. And this one as well. I show you the most simple techniques. The width of the collar on the back will be 9 centimeters. To make a wrap here, we need to extend the center front by 3 cm. As I've said, I need to extend this detail for 3 cm on each side. That makes 6 cm in total. If you extend it by 4 cm, the total measurement will be 8 cm. Next, I need to connect these points and draw a beautiful, neat shawl collar. I want you to understand that you can make a collar of any shape you want. Be creative. You can draw a collar this way. You can make an angled collar. Or a straight one. It's up to you. Use your imagination. I want it to look just like the one in the sketch. Watch the way I'm drawing the collar. Do not forget to add one centimeter for the seam allowance here. Have a look here. The collar is pretty big. This is the center front. These points have to match in the right and the left sides. This is a checkpoint. I will have to make a notch here, and then I will need to make the notches match. If you think that the color is too big, you can make it smaller after you fit in. There is nothing complicated about it. The design is pretty simple. I really hope that everything is clear so far. I'm also going to show you how to cut the details and how to tag them. This is the back, the side details for the front and the back. I remind you that they are the same in the back and the front. This is very important. The pattern is ready. This is the shoulder top. That's all for today.
Next time, I'll show you how to cut the details and how to tag them. Be different and beautiful. My name is Irina Baukste. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.